often when you're installing a web application, uh, the instructions request that you either close down or open up the permissions on a particular file or directory. So you need to know how to do that. Uh, you can use the change mode command in, in the, at the, at the uh, command line in a shell, um, or you can do it through uh, some FTP clients. Uh, let's talk a little bit about Unix permissions. They're actually simpler than um, Windows or some other modern operating systems. Um, you may not feel that way immediately, but they're fairly straightforward. Um, if you remember that when we uh, look at a an LSL, that's list all, um, we get these kind of strings of permissions. You'll remember that the first spot here is um, for whether it's a directory or a file. Actually, sometimes that can be L for uh, a symbolic link, but usually it's a D or a, or a dash. Next comes a cluster of three characters, three characters, three characters. A total of nine, th uh, three clusters of three each. And the first cluster refers to what the owner of the file can do with it. The second cluster, what the group of that the, that the owner is associated with can do with it. And the final uh, cluster is what the whole world, the rest of the world, can do with it. So um, there are basically three things you can do with a file. You can read it, you can write it, or you can execute it. Um, so for, e for each of these kinds of, of users, the, the owner, the group, and the world, you can, tell, you can specify whether they can do those things with it. So for example, in this directory, the files directory, people can do whatever they want, right? It, they can read, write, or execute no matter who they are. Um, for the settings directory, anyone can read or execute, but no one can write. It's kind of write protected. And for this default settings here, um, lots of people can read, but only the uh, owner of the file can read and write it, and no one can execute it. So we've got a set of, of um, of things here. How do you change them? Well, um, the, the command, as I said, was change mode, C-H-M-O-D. Now we tell it what we want to change the permissions to. That can get a little bit fussy. Um, right now, let's change it to everything, and that means everyone can read, write, or execute. If you know a little bit of binary, you can probably figure out where this 777 comes from. It's, um, you know, uh, it's 3 plus 2 plus 1, or rather 4 plus 2 plus 1, uh, because it's a binary structure. But we can do change mode 777. It's enough to know that 777 will open up something completely. Oops, I have to actually um, type it correctly. So uh, change mode 777 default.settings.php. And now if I do an LSL, you'll see that that first one is now wide open. So we want to change it back, and, and I happen to know that what we want to change it back to is 644. I'll show you how I know that in a minute. Let's go ahead and we'll do, um, go ahead and refresh this real quick, and then we'll go ahead and do a right click. This is in FileZilla, the FTP client. I'm looking at the exact same file just through the FTP client, and I'm going to look at file permissions. You'll see that they're 777. I want to go back to where we were, which was that the owner was allowed to read and write it, but not execute it, and that the, um, the group was allowed to only read it, and the uh, public or everybody else was only allowed to read it. That ends up being 644. I'll hit OK and you'll see it kind of goes through some stuff. And now I'll go back and take a look and you'll see, oops, ls-l, you'll see that the permissions are now what they were before, rw-r-r-r-. Um, again, you don't have to know this in detail. You only need to know it enough to when someone tells you in instru installation instructions to change the permissions on something, they'll usually tell you change them to 744 or change them to 644 or change them to 777. Um, but you'll know kind of what they're asking you to do now uh, that you know what the change mode uh, and Unix permissions are.